give us some interesting coverage today. And the field, it just keeps on coming. It's 39 cars. There were a few more before we got down to 39. And watch these Aussie racing cars. They go three wide around a lot of the turns. And after that Fujitsu race, there's oil and coolant <laughs> everywhere. So it'll be an interesting couple of laps. Were you unscathed? Are there any bumps or bashes to your car? Unscathed, but I did manage to find all the oil out there a couple of times, Noon. Uh, there did look to be a little bit of it around. So Tyler Rowan and Kyle Clues on the front row. Phillips and Kamal next. Peter Carr, championship leader. He's back on row three with Adrian Cottrell, who won the last round the last time we saw these cars. Uh, that was a winter. It seems like so long ago, but he's always a front runner. Bart Moore, Dave Sarah. There's a big mix of guys who are regular contenders. And now coming back to, to the front of the Don't grid. mind me. Excuse me. Coming through. Um, I uh, uh, something not right here. This is now this car stopped on the warm up lap. Now he can't get reversed. Now, remember, it's a motorbike gearbox, so very tricky to try and find reverse. He's asking for help. I can tell you now the race director will not be happy yeah, with this. Now, this is, this is Phil Ward. This is the category founder and the guy who runs this series. He's parked his car on the front of the grid. And he's unhappy with the track condition. Well, look, I so, mean, so he's end, made the call here. He, he wants, he's going against the officials. I don't agree with what we're seeing here, Noons. At the end of the day, you drive to the conditions. Now, there is oil, but we just spent six laps trying to get rid of most of it. And uh, they would have seen it on the outlap. So uh, this is actually, I've never, ever seen a driver take over and abandon the race like this before. Uh, gobsmacked. Different. Now, we might explain that Phil Ward builds these cars, yeah, he, he, he runs this series and drives in it. You remember Phil back in the old Mercedes yeah, yeah. in two the litres. early two-litre touring car days. He's probably old enough to be my old man, actually. Well, he did stop on the warm-up lap down the back straight and was talking to the officials down there, and I thought he actually had a problem. And that was the drama. Now, he's pulled up on the grid and is just saying, we're not racing, no matter what. A few of them, actually. Look at the back of the field. I think that... Oh, there's nearly a oh, shunt. This is just a disaster. This they've, is... they've actually thought that the race is off. They thought it was off. go. But, and uh, oh. so he could have actually caused more damage yeah. than what there would have been done on the oil. So uh, here's the assistant Clark, of course, down on pit lane. And uh, Ian Mabry will be uh, doing backflips up there, I imagine, in race control. So the rest of them are all sitting there wondering, now what do we do? It looks like, I wonder if Phil is going to go back to his uh, position. Look, at the end of the day, if you don't feel it's safe, you pull into don't pit race. lane. Really so, simple. A uh, bit of an odd one, but he does run the category. Perhaps he's trying to have the category's interest at stake. We're on live TV here too. I would have thought that was a pretty big coup for the Aussie racing cars. I'm just writing down in the, uh, the book of motor racing experience that I've got here. New chapter. Have not seen this one before. So what happens though to all the guys who are now not in their grid spots down the back that I'd, move forward of uh, pilot yeah. positions? I'd imagine we'll see another warm-up lap here, so they'll get another lap to check out the track conditions, and more than likely there'll be a lap or two taken off the f off the race. No, it looks like so everyone's going back. They're following the boss to line up because there were so many cars that had moved forward, thinking that the race had actually started. So there should be a delayed start board shown. They're actually the, the putting more rubbish on the track now than there was well, before, I might add. The one-minute board's being shown, Cam, at start-finish line. And the rest of these cars are lining up down the back to get back in their order that they were in before they did what they thought was the race start. For this those is, uh, just tuning in at home, <laughs> this is actually professional motor racing. Got might be full. Got but, uh, so here we go. Green flag, warm-up lap, warm-up lap. Half the cars are on the grass going back to their grid position, so these cars are, are fairly light. Would have been easy, I think, just to maybe get the marshals, the grid marshals, onto the track and push them back into their original positions, but uh, ultimately, we're going to go racing, but I think you'll find this one will be shortened a couple of laps. I feel like we've been here before, warm-up lap. Aussie race. And Kyle Clues, the reigning champion, car number one. Get us going, finally, at Queensland Raceway. And that was Dave Zero, really slow away. He's been swamped by five or six. And with little cars stiffly sprung, check out turn one. The bump to Queensland Raceway, you'll hear about it in the V8 supercar telecast later on. They are seriously worse than last year, but if anything, it probably 
Look at them bouncing like a basketball. So they're bouncing on the side wall of the tyre there. There's a big bump on the exit of turn two and the bumps into turn one. Remember that these are 1.2 litre twin cam Yamaha power plants that really rev 11,500 RPM. And Kyle Clues goes the long way around down into turn three. And the racing, it's going to go backwards and forwards. You guarantee it for the whole run of the chicken flag. It's quite slippery out there too. Noon's on the exit of three. That's the only other spot where they're going to be... A final lapper is the reigning champ, Kyle Clues, made a move for the lead. Oh, oh he's Peter gone. Carr, the championship leader has unloaded himself right in front of the field. He will get it running again. He's going to have to be careful here. I don't think he... Uh, Pretty sure he didn't get a tap then. He's, whoa, look at Clues. <laughs> now we're talking about how they lock brakes and recover. He didn't recover too well there. Big understeer and he's run wide. These tyres take... And third, the Aussie racing cars turning it on at Queensland Raceway. When we come back, we'll go right through to the chequered flag. Here at Super Cheap Auto, we love the V8 supercars just as much as you guys. That's why we're not leaving the race, even in our own commercial break. So enjoy the race and get into Super Cheap Auto for everything auto and much, much more. Well, the racing doesn't stop. Atara Rowan does. He's been turned around on the exit of turn three. I think that was Paul Kamal. Might have been Sheridan Phillips. The two VIP cars were right in and among there. This is wild and willing. It's just been a mad day. Absolutely it has. Just as we came back from the break there, not sure who it was. A mad sort of a day. Kyle Clues and Cottrell have got away. Here's the replay. Up high, Cottrell oh. does everything but roll. And then look at this. Kamal taps into the back of Owen. Yeah, that was... really goes. going to say... Uh, he did turn down on him, but no, that was just a little bit cheeky there. If you just see, it's the, it was a fair way out of the corner, so uh, I'm sure that'll keep uh, race direct.